Are you a teacher and you've noticed that one of your pupils does not talk, but you know that he or she can talk? Well, stay tuned because this is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Welcome back to my channel and today the topic is selective mutism and school and it is specific for teachers. Remember to subscribe and uh, click the bell so you'll be notified um, of my weekly videos. Now in this channel you will find a lot of videos about selective mutism which is an anxiety disorder that affect children in school where they really find unable to speak, though they can speak at home. In today's video, I want to explain what selective mutism looks like in the classroom, and I want to advise teachers and people that work in the school on how to approach parents if you are concerned that a student might have this difficulty. So if you think that one of your students might have selective mutism, you should share your observation with his parents. What you have to say might come as a shock because parents are used to their kids being chatting at home and they might have not noticed that they don't speak in school. So you need to make your observation specific enough in order to create a clear picture what your child's difficulties are, what he is missing out on. For example, you can say that you've noticed that he speaks with peers, but when an adult speaks to him, he freezes. Notice his demeanor. Is it frozen? What kind of communication can you see? Does he point? Remember the scale of confident speaking and you will find a video where I talk to you about what does that look like. So we can identify the steps and where is the child at. You might hear the parents saying, oh yeah, this is just quite um, surprising because my child actually speaks to everyone outside school. You can say, I am glad that he speaks at home, but I want to make sure you know what's happening at school. Um, because for example, at circle time, he's unable to participate or make a choice or say anything. He clams up. He looks like he wants to respond, but can't. Parents that have never heard about selective mutism need time to process what you're sharing or what is happening. And they might say that they want to give their child more time in order to feel more comfortable in school. Those are very normal reaction, but you've got to make sure that you don't wait for too long because you want to put a plan in action straight away. And that's where uh, experts like myself, that I'm a specialist, a speech and language therapist in selective mutism, or any other professionals that they are trained in selective mutism can help out. So um, it's really important as a first step to, to have a meeting in order to create the structure, but you have to have professional help and you've got to look for strategies that can be used. I promise I will make another video for strategies that you as the teacher, that you can use in the classroom. I support parents understanding how to stimulate the brave muscle, which is in my system, uh, is my method that I teach in Steps to Brave Talking. At the moment, it's a course just for parents, but within this course, they will have a special bonus. There's a free guide, which is very long for teachers that the parents can share. So if you're watching this video, invite parents to watch it. 
let me know where you're listening from. If you're a teacher, what have you noticed? Have you ever thought that selective mutism could actually be a kind of an oppositional behaviour? Well, I'm here to say to you, it's not. If you have any questions, please comment below so that I can make more videos. Keep tuned because I will be posting another video about teachers and what you can do in the classroom to help their communication. You will find many videos like this in my channel and I hope you will comment, share and remember to subscribe to this channel but also to all my um, social media channel. And if you want a shout out, remember to tag me and I'm more than happy to talk about you um, in my next video. I will be posting a new video next week and I look forward to reading all your messages. Bye.